Big Ten play begins today as Minnesota plays their second game of the season against the number 21 ranked Indiana Hoosiers. With only one game to prepare for Big Ten action, Minnesota debuted new starting quarterback Andy McKenzie in their week one victory over Colorado State. Andy McKenzie had a lot of hype coming into his debut and he did not disappoint, putting up two touchdowns in the air, one on the ground, and leading Minnesota to a 20 point victory. I was happy with Andy and the offense last week, where the defense left plenty to be desired as they allowed 300 plus passing yards and almost 200 on the ground. We hope for improvement today as Minnesota is on the road playing their first Big Ten game against Indiana. It's a great night for football as the Big Ten season is underway here in week three. Minnesota with the ball first as David Clark six yards deep out of his own end zone. Out he goes across the 20 outside and he is out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. So here is Andy McKenzie and the Minnesota starting offense. They were fun to watch last week and they get going with a handoff to Berkeley Edwards and he will start things off with an 11 yard carry. On first down and 10, Diamond Package handoff to Kevin Martindale, starting backwards using his speed, and he cuts up field and gains nine yards on the play. A little dangerous route there he took to get the yardage, but he's fast. First and 10 now, McKenzie to the air, and his first pass is incomplete. Knocked down by Keith Richardson. Intended for Kevin Martindale lined up in the slot, so second and 10 back to the Diamond, McKenzie. Stepping up in the pocket, wanting to run, but the ball comes out and Minnesota is back on it. That's going to be a big story today. How can our offense hold up against this pass rush? Third down and long, McKenzie deep down the middle and it's knocked down, almost intercepted. McKenzie's first two throws are incompletions. Now Indiana football, first down and 10. Quarterback Steve Hargrove give the Daryl Chestnut stutter step on Dan Smith and Chestnut breaks free to gain 19 yards on their first play. We have got to contain the ground today. We did a poor job last week. Hargrove on first and 10. Firing downfield, plenty of time and a wide open man. It's Griffith as he is already putting Indiana inside a field goal range. Second and 13, Minnesota brushes four and Hargrove with a clean pocket, fires to his right and the pass is hauled in again by Isaac Griffith, 15 more. Threatening in the red zone as Hargrove inside the chestnut and he bursts through the middle. He's inside the five and gains a solid pickup of eight. Indiana with a nice drive on their opening possession as Friend comes in motion. Handoff, Chestnut powering through Henderson, and he did break the plane of the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. They work quickly down the field with no mistakes, and Indiana has the first points of the day, 7-0. Minnesota begins their second possession. McKenzie from the shotgun. Back to pass, pressure incoming, it's a throw off and it's behind his target. McKenzie begins 0 for 3. He had three incompletions all last week. Third and six looking for a play. McKenzie facing the rush and the pass is out to Eric Carter. Wide open, 27 yard gain. He caught McKenzie's big touchdown pass last week. Now McKenzie keeps it, he fakes inside and runs ahead to gain the first down before he slides ahead. In Indiana territory, it's second down to the Diamond Package. Handoff goes to Lamar Washington, and Indiana is all over it. Only a gain of one. Martindale and Edwards next to McKenzie from the shotgun. Third down, McKenzie airing it out, and Drew Latarski can't make the grab. Normally very sure-handed, could not complete the catch, and McKenzie is one of six to begin the day. A slow start for the Gophers offense. Indiana ball 7-0. Steve Hargrove wanting to take off and he's wrapped up in the backfield. It's Dan Smith, loss of one. 2.11 to go in the first. Hargrove, the chestnut, working his way outside, trying to get to the marker. He'll be stopped shy. Third down and two now upcoming. Trips left for Indiana. They hurry it up and Hargrove fakes inside. He'll keep it across the 51st down Indiana. Plenty on the gain. It's 13 yards. First down and 10, Minnesota in a three-man front as Hargrove gets his pass knocked down at the line. Nice job by Sauls Riddell. Our defensive linemen have to have a bigger impact in the passing game. Third and seven, Hargrove screened a chestnut and wrapped up by De Niro Laster. That goes nowhere and Minnesota forces a field goal attempt. 58 yards, this won't be easy. Left hash kick is away and he got all of it. Indiana 10 to zero. Two score lead here in the first quarter. After two failed drives, Minnesota takes over, three wide. Martindale gets it inside, not much on the gain here as he picks up two. He did run for 189 in week one. 
Second down, here's the blitz. McKenzie, pass outside, there's Kirkpatrick. First down, and fighting for the extra yardage as he gains 17 yards. That's gotta be our go-to target when teams blitz us. New set of downs, McKenzie with the pitch back to Martindale, and he still can't get much room as Indiana shuts him down at the line of scrimmage. Last play of the first quarter upcoming as McKenzie blitz. It's picked up and outside to Eric Carter with the grab. 20 yards downfield. Carter has a knack for making great catches. There's another one. On second down, McKenzie facing the blitz now works to his left. Andy with room, he takes off. He has the first down and more. One man to beat, he jukes him and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Andy McKenzie. 40 yard rushing touchdown. This kid is exciting. He's not gonna slide, not going to go out of bounds. He makes a miss. And Minnesota is on the board, 10 to seven. Hoosier ball as Hargrove flips it out to Christensen and there's nowhere for him to go. He's trapped five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And that puts Minnesota in a good spot to get their first stop. Third down and nine, hard roll. Pocket collapsing as he goes deep. Down the field, it's almost intercepted. Come on, Eric Parker. At least fourth down is forced. Minnesota ball. Right at the 49-yard line as McKenzie fakes the Thompson, rolls out to his right. Sideline pass, caught first down. It's Doug Duckett. He had a big eight-catch, 134-yard game in week one. This time Minnesota goes to the ground and it's Will Thompson the fullback in a big hole up the middle as he gets 16 yards. Minnesota nearing the red zone as Berkeley Edwards puts them inside the 15 yard line with this gain of seven. Minnesota on third down, they go to the diamond package and it's going to be Thompson as he does get the first down, breaks through a tackle and inside the 10 is Minnesota. Pratt at the wing, Thompson in the backfield, McKenzie on first down, goes play action. Rolling to his right, McKenzie stops, fires to the end zone, and he hooks up with Wolitarski. Touchdown, Minnesota. McKenzie throws across his body. It's okay when a guy is that wide open. Just like that, the Gophers had the lead, 2.20 to go in the first half. Hargrove back to pass, wants to scramble off his back foot. He fires, and somehow a catch is made. We cannot let plays like that happen. Still trying to generate a pass rush as on first down and 10, Hargrove fakes it and then dumps it off short the chestnut who breaks a tackle and is wrapped up after a gain of seven. With a man in motion from the pistol formation, first and 10, here's the blitz from Minnesota, but Hargrove has a quick target, it's Chestnut, gets a block on Graves inside the 20, big game for Daryl Chestnut, 39 yards. Once again, running backs giving us trouble. Now in the red zone, Hargrove with the fake, up the middle and wrapped up by Andre Gaines. So third down and two as Minnesota tries to force a field goal. Minnesota makes a change and Chestnut up the gut as he does convert. First down, Indiana. 114 to play, first and goal. Hargrove hands off the Chestnut. He goes right up the middle untouched for a four yard rushing touchdown. Indiana recaptures the lead, it's 17 to 14. Minnesota, however, does have some time remaining, 50 seconds to do some work as McKenzie looks to pass and he fires to Eric Carter. Good protection from the old line, giving him plenty of time to make that 13 yard completion. On second down, Minnesota does have one timeout. McKenzie looks like he wants to scramble, he steps up and gains a couple. So Minnesota's gotta get something big here if they wanna do anything before the half. One timeout, 15 seconds, Andy McKenzie. Blitz in his face, gets hit, fires, and that's intercepted. McKenzie's first pick, and Richardson on the return is gonna make him pay. Touchdown, Indiana. A pick six on Andy McKenzie's first interception. A terrible way to go into the half, down by 10. Minnesota now has to dig out of this hole they've created. The second half getting underway as Indiana leads 24 to 14. It was very close before halftime, but Andy McKenzie's pick six has given Indiana a double digit lead again, and the Hoosiers have the ball to open the third. They've ran the ball well today as Daryl Chestnut continues that trend, gaining 16. If there's anything we have to do in the second half, it's generate a pass rush. Second down, and Hargrove goes down. That's a big loss of seven, as nobody accounted for De Niro last year. Good blitz from Minnesota. This is a really good opportunity to get off the field. Third down and 15, four wide. Hargrove looks to the sideline, and Friend has the catch. Nowhere near the marker. Fourth down, Indiana punts. 
Andy McKenzie has his first interception out of the way, but it was a painful one as Minnesota tries to make up for it. Edwards gets the carry, working outside, and Berkeley Edwards in Indiana territory. He's being chased inside the 20 and 63 yards on the first play of the third quarter for Minnesota's offense. And Doug Duggett had a key block, and a defender tripped over the guy he was blocking. Nice two for one from Duckett. Minnesota now in the red zone as McKenzie gives to Lamar Washington who squirts up that left side and he gains nine, giving Berkeley a little breather. Trying to make this a one score game quickly in the third quarter. McKenzie fakes the handoff to Washington on a rollout and McKenzie gets blasted from his right side. That's a loss of 11 and Minnesota now faces third and 12. You have to be smart with the football here as McKenzie with three wide. Back to pass, now works out of the pocket. On his right side, but nowhere to go as McKenzie tries to run. Gets hit hard out of bounds. It's a two-yard gain. Minnesota has to kick the field goal. It is a seven-point game. Steve Hargrove fakes inside and sucks in the Minnesota linebackers, and Hargrove will pick up seven yards after a very successful fake. We've seen plenty of times in the past where we have trouble with the read option. Second down, this is Chestnut sweeping to the left and he has a first down chased from behind by Dan Smith as he gains nine. Four minutes and 26 seconds to go in the third. Hargrove back to pass and downfield, got a man open behind Eric Parker, it's Jamal Newton. First down near the red zone for Indiana. Minnesota is stacking the box as Newton comes in motion. Hargrove fakes, now tosses out to Newton, and there is good option defense. Sam Graves makes the tackle, and it's a loss of one. Second down and 11. Four-man rush. Hargrove wants to run, and into his own man he goes. Down is Steve Hargrove. Easy sack for John Meyer. Third down and 16. Minnesota does back off with a three-man front. Hargrove looks sideline. That's not enough. Friend makes the catch, one yard shy of the first down marker. That'll make it a field goal attempt for Indiana, they make it a 10 point game. Both teams have traded field goals, Minnesota down by 10, begins the drive with a screen pass to Kevin Martindale, but too many Indiana defenders in his way, only gains seven. Second and three as McKenzie gives it to Martindale, trying to follow his blocks as he has enough for the first down, this is good for eight. An overall decent day so far for our running game. McKenzie now to the shotgun, three wide receivers, free rusher, and McKenzie gets the ball knocked out of his hands. Jones on the recovery, and he will go scoop and score. Touchdown, Indiana. That is the second defensive touchdown we've allowed. Indiana has released the hounds on our offense, just blitzing as much as they can and they just created another big turnover. Both of their touchdowns on defense were products of a blitz. Minnesota is now down by 17. Not much room for error. Indiana's offense has been solid all day, but Minnesota's offense has to find a way to make some big plays. McKenzie to the middle, there's Wolitarski. A quiet start to the year, but that's a first down catch. Minnesota has to pick up the pace. McKenzie works his way out of the pocket. Has time, fires downfield, has a man open, it's Eric Carter. Inside Indiana territory, that's good for 19. Minnesota running the hurry up, has 20 seconds to go in the third. McKenzie, there's the rush, and McKenzie sacked again. No blitz that time, the offensive line just could not contain. Second down and 20 as the fourth quarter is underway. Martindale gets the handoff, uses his speed up the middle and does gain 17, so gets the sack yards back and then some. Minnesota back to the line on third down. Right back to Kevin Martindale and he makes a man miss, picks up the first down and Martindale appears to be hurt on the play. Hopefully he can return, but Edwards will check into the game. Second down and 16 for Minnesota. There's the blitz again. McKenzie outside. There's Wolitarski. Good throw and catch, 14 yards. But Minnesota's got to put this in the end zone. It's third down and two. Blitz again. McKenzie goes quick, and Kirkpatrick makes the catch. Eight yards on the grab. Minnesota back to the line once more. McKenzie from the shotgun, this time it's a handoff. Edwards following blocks, trying to go outside, can he get in? Edwards will fight, but he will come up short. Gain of nine. Second down and one, and Minnesota's gonna get flagged for a false start. That is just terrible. Backed up now to the six. Andy on second down, takes the snap, looks to pass. There's the pressure, trying to run. McKenzie breaks free, now he's down to the pocket. It's a loss of three. Third down and nine. The pass rush has been relentless. Can Minnesota overcome it? McKenzie 
three-man rush. And he goes down again, are you kidding me? The offensive line is just overmatched. The Gophers have to sell for a field goal, and now the defense has to get stops. 14-point game, chest that up the gut, he gains two. Here's a chance for Minnesota, third down and three. It's a 3-3-5 look for Minnesota as Hardrow fakes, looks to pass, downfield, tipped, intercepted! De Niro Lester with a heads-up interception, wow! That was tipped first by the receiver, and then there's De Niro Lester, his hands are under the football. What a clutch play, Minnesota takes over, the offense though needs a touchdown. Hand off to Berkeley Edwards, and they don't flag that. That looked like a blatant face mask call. But instead it's second down and 12, just over four minutes remain. McKenzie with time, Kirkpatrick, no he can't make the catch. Hit and dropped, third down and 12. Three wide, two left for McKenzie. Fakes up the middle. Drops back to pass. Now floats out of the pocket. A man misses. McKenzie last second. Hooks up with Carter. What a play. Andy McKenzie. I'm not sure how he did this. He took the hit though at the very end. Delivered a perfect pass to Carter. Minnesota's drive is still alive. It's first and ten. Andy McKenzie fires and dropped again through the hands of Adam Kirkpatrick. This has been a sloppy game. Second down for McKenzie, and he lobs end zone, and this is well out of the back, nowhere near Eric Carter. Third down and 10. Duckett, Clark, and Wolitarski as McKenzie with a shotgun snap, blitz in, coming, pass end zone! There it is, touchdown David Clark. Nice post route, and McKenzie hits him to make it a one score game. Minnesota down by a touchdown, now the defense has to come up big. Last time it was De Niro last year with a huge interception, 340 to play. Hargrove will pass, James makes the catch, almost breaks out of a tackle, he does get seven, really good play on first down. I don't think I would expect much more passing, but Hargrove looks to throw again, can't get pressure and Friend makes the catch across the 40, first down Indiana. Minnesota aggressively stacking the box on first and ten. Hargrove with a screen pass. Caught by Chestnut. There's a good play for Minnesota. He will lose two. So here it is. Minnesota's got to get some stops. They have all three timeouts. Hand off Chestnut. Too much room inside. He is stopped ahead of the marker. Third down and two. Trying to give our offense a chance. The box is stacked third down. Man in motion. Fake with Hargrove. Pitch outside, Newton, and he has the first down. They go to the triple option on third down and two. Minnesota can't contain it. Now they have to start using timeouts. 90 seconds as Hargrove fakes. This is too much. Hargrove first down, and with that, Minnesota needs a huge play here to have a chance. Indiana is now in field goal range. 55 seconds, Hargrove the chestnut ahead. He goes for a gain of five. Minnesota has two timeouts left. But they're in a really tough spot. Second down and five, 52 seconds. Hargrove gives the chestnut off tackle. Chestnut picks up the first down, hangs on to the football, and Indiana has knocked off the Minnesota Golden Gophers in their second game this season. Not a great showing from either the offense or the defense, obviously allowing two defensive touchdowns, one on the pick six, one on a fumble return is terrible. The defense, they had trouble getting stops, especially against this option attack. And overall, we did not deserve to win this game, and Indiana just outplayed us. The offense now has some things to clean up as the interception was really bad. Not sure what I was even thinking on that play. Maybe I thought I could do a jump ball to Drew or something. But McKenzie did make plenty of plays with his arm. There were a lot of really nice passes, but the play calling really didn't fit the way the game was going. We ran way too many plays that require a lot of protection so guys can get open down the field. With all the blitzes and the pressure Indiana created, we probably would have been better off with some short stuff and then trying to use our ground game more and trusting our running backs who probably didn't get the ball enough in this game. There's a lot of things to correct, and now we play the best team in the nation next week. Ohio State, defending national champions, number one in the nation. They haven't lost in a very long time. If we're going to challenge Ohio State's undefeated streak, we're going to have to play a much more clean football game. Thanks for watching, guys. It's a disappointing loss. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know in the comments section what you think we have to do if we're going to beat Ohio State next week. I do believe we're going to try some 5-2 defense to get this ground game under control. 
I'm looking forward to your feedback, and I'll see you guys next time when we take on Ohio State and try to pull off the biggest upset we possibly could this year. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.